Are you considering traveling with your baby on an airplane? We recently took a two and a half hour flight to Miami and we have a bunch of tips for you. Traveling with a baby is not as hard as you think, but it's definitely a lot more cumbersome. And traveling with our baby recently, we've created a few tips for you to help you be more efficient, feel more confident, and also annoy less travelers around you. Anytime you think you're going to spend at the airport, multiply by 1.5 if you're traveling with a baby. From security, to getting to the gate, to boarding, things just simply take more time. In today's video, we're gonna go over our top tips with traveling with a baby. Number one, choosing the right flight. Two, packing and handling your stroller and your car seat. Three, getting through security. And finally, just overall tips on how to keep your baby, baby as soothed and happy as possible throughout the flight. The first thing you need to consider is the actual flight and seats that you're choosing. Our hometown airport is a hub for many major airlines, meaning there are opportunities for a direct flight over worrying about a connection with our baby. We like to choose either the first flight out in the morning or the last flight out in the evening. Our baby is generally sleepier at these times, making the onboard experience easier. We recommend booking a flight with a departure time that's around their sleepy periods for a less stressful flight for you, the parents. You can choose whether buying a seat for your baby or having an infant as a lap child makes the most sense for you. Obviously, the biggest difference is the price and whether the extra fare is actually worth it for you. As a general rule, we've kind of determined that three hours is the hot spot. Under three hours, it's a lot more manageable with having a baby on your lap for the entire time. What's better, an aisle seat or a window seat? Our preference is the window. Having the side of the plane to lean on and rest your arms makes it more comfortable for those opting for the lap child option. Also, it avoids the need of having to get up randomly throughout the flight. If someone in your row may need to get up and use the restroom, let us know in the comments what your preference is. The next big thing to consider is packing appropriately and making it as easy for you as possible to navigate throughout the airport. Before having our son, whenever we went anywhere, everything that we packed had its set place. No matter where we went, we always knew where everything was as we always had a consistent place and a way of traveling and packing. Now that we have our baby, it's not just clothes that we're considering and more clothes that we're considering, it's so many other things that we're thinking about. We have his stroller, we have his car seat, we have all the diapers, our breast pump, so many other things that we need to consider. So our packing needs are a lot different now. We combined all of our clothes and travel necessities that we didn't need on the plane and checked it in one large luggage piece. While it does bring an added fee for checking the bags, it does free up necessary hands at the airport. Trust me, you're going to need them. You can check your credit card company advantages as they may offer free check bags. Here's an unpopular opinion for you. You do not need a travel stroller. Before going on our first trip with our baby, we did a lot of research on travel strollers and really just ultimately what the best stroller was for traveling. We decided to keep our everyday stroller, the Appa Baby Vista V2, and we brought that along. And we found it to be perfect with all of the storage that it had underneath it when going throughout the airport. We brought our stroller with the attachable car seat through security all the way up to the gate. Because we brought our stroller, we were practically hands-free at the airport with all of our carry-on luggage packed away beneath the stroller. The majority of airlines allow you to bring on more items as a carry-on outside of their normal limitations. Most airlines allow you to pack your stroller and or your car seat at the gate free of any fees. Also, if you're a breastfeeding mama, you can bring your pump on by law without having to dip into your one carry-on luggage, one personal item. Many airlines also allow you to bring a diaper bag outside of that one personal item, one carry-on luggage. So before traveling, be sure to check out the airline that you're traveling with and see what their rules are. We have a separate video on our channel that goes more into detail about what we packed and how we packed it. Be sure to check this video out after you watch this one. The next big topic is airport security. Probably the most stressful part of flying and navigating through the airport is of course airport security. You have a line of people behind you also needing to make their destinations on time and the TSA agents are probably strongly speaking to you. 
You know the typical meme. Get your laptops out the bag, electronic cigarettes, you know. I, does it sound like Yep, very stressful going through security. So our first tip is getting TSA pre-check. If you don't already have it, get it now. It lasts five years and it's $78. And it's a little thing that makes going through security just a little bit easier. Most airports allow you to go through TSA pre-check without taking off your shoes and certain items that you're usually needing to take off going through regular security. So little detail makes a big difference. You will need to place your car seat and folded stroller into the conveyor for screening. If the stroller is too large, like ours, they simply will have to screen it through the metal detector. No big deal. TSA though typically does not allow liquids just over that three, 3.4 fluid ounces through security. You are allowed to bring as much food as you need though through security, regardless of the volume. You have a baby. Whether you have pre-pumped breast milk or distilled water for formula, they are allowed to be brought on the plane. The agents will more than likely take the bottles aside and test them outside of the bottle. No worries though, they should not open them or test the actual contents or liquid inside. If they do, you might have a problem. You will need to take your baby outside of the stroller or however you may be pushing them throughout the airport and walk them through the security checkpoint. If you have a baby carrier and you're comfortable wearing your baby, that is another good option for you. Lastly, on the actual flight, what can you do to set up your baby for success? For starters, have plenty of food readily available for soothing and takeoff and landing. When the altitude is changing, you've probably experienced your ears popping. This is the same with your baby. To avoid any of this baby's discomfort, try to plan your baby's feeding schedule to align with the takeoff and landing portions of the flight. When the baby is sucking, they are popping their ears, avoiding much of that discomfort. If it's not time to eat and your baby has a pacifier, the pacifier also may work. When we boarded our first flight with our baby, we noticed that the plane actually sounded like a giant sound machine, which worked really well for us. But all that aside, make sure to bring anything from home that makes your baby as soothed as possible. Whether that's wrapping them in a specific sleep sack or swaddle, any uh, pacifiers that are familiar to them, a sound specific that they like, anything that really reminds them of being at home in their comfort place. It also goes without saying to try to change your diaper, not your diaper, their diaper. Let me restart. <laughs> to try to change their diaper before boarding the plane to keep them as comfortable as possible too. Airplane bathrooms also have a changing table. So it's going to keep them comfortable. Change them on the plane. Funny enough, we both fit in the bathroom and we are able to conquer the daunting task together to change our baby's diaper. The flight attendants were pretty impressed, let me tell you. Lastly, try to remain calm throughout the flight. We are firm believers in the fact that your baby feeds and understands your energy. So whatever you can do to remain calm, that will set them up for the success on the flight. I'm gonna do that over one more time. Try to remain calm throughout the flight. We know it's a stressful situation, but we are firm believers in the fact that your baby responds to your energy. So whatever you can do to remain calm throughout the flight, better sets them up for success. Those are our tips for traveling with an infant. If we've missed anything, please let us know in the mm -hmm. comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Where's the baby at? Fun fact, Dalton has saved almost all of his boarding passes uh, that he had. Them. All right. Okay. <laughs> there are a ton of boarding passes here. So I plan on doing something very similar with our baby. I want to save all of his boarding passes to just show him how many places he's traveled and just kind of keep it as a keepsake. So I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. So if you have any ideas on creative things to do, let me know in the comments below. Not the trash, right? No. no. <laughs> <laughs>